stay at home mom with a family of three. Well, I'm off to work. Have a good day. Take care. Have a good day, Dad. The life is ordinary, but I'm happy every day. After seeing my husband, Arito, off to work, I went to the park with my daughter, Haru, and found my friends there. The kids play happily at the park, and we watch over them while we enjoy a nice talk. But then, a storm of bad luck suddenly hit us. Good afternoon, ladies. This person who suddenly appeared is Toko, the self-proclaimed leader of the mom's group. She's arrogant, selfish, and unlikable. Hello. Oh, hello, Toko-san. I'm not here for you, too. I'm here for you. So, Kanori-san, is it? I have a job for you. The new mom to my group of friends. You'll be putting together and distributing the materials for the town hall meeting this weekend. What? What do you mean, what? But you're supposed to be in charge of that. Shut up. A housewife is just like those who don't have a job. So it is okay, isn't it? Hey, Toko, don't talk like that. My kind friend trying to protect me. But I can't go against her because... What? Are you talking back to me? You haven't forgotten who my husband is. Have you? Uh... Toko's husband is a notorious Yakuza. Whenever she couldn't manage things the way she wanted, she would use his name to threaten us. Moreover, his son is a notorious juvenile delinquent, just like his father. He's only just started junior high school, but he doesn't even go to school and plays around doing bad things. Okay, please leave that job to me. Naturally. Then take care of the rest. Yes? When I obeyed, Toko-san left with a satisfied look on her face. I'm sorry you had to cover for me. It's okay. But are you sure it's okay too? I don't have a choice. I can't go against her. Thanks. We'll help you with the paperwork. We don't know what they'll do to us if we provoke their family. To protect the children, we all have to cooperate and obey them. A few days later, with the help of my friends, I finished the job I was forced to do. Tweet Tweet Moniker! Go, go! Haru's favorite show is Punika, a children's show about a guinea pig-like creature turned into a car. Puni is not a guinea pig, Puni. This is actually pretty cute. Oh, somebody's here. Harold's coming. Hey, Uncle Kari! Uncle Kari! Yo, great to see you, Haru. What's going on all of a sudden, Kari? This is my brother, Kari. Haru is very attached to him. I wanted to talk to you and Alto, but that's when Alto comes home from work. Until then, I'll play with Haru. Yay! I'm sorry, Kari, for making you play with Haru all the time. That's okay. Why don't you go outside and freshen up a little? What? Thank you. Yay! Let's play Punika vs. Uma Otoko. Let's go! Come on, Kari Teo! What's that? Isn't it funny that something different got mixed up? Kari takes care of Haru like his own daughter. I leave Haru in Kari's hands and go out alone for the first time in a while. It's not that I'm dissatisfied with my daily life. For a stay-at-home mom with a young child, these times are very special. But you run into someone you don't like. Oh, Kanade. What a coincidence to find you here! Toko-san! I don't have any friends to help me out now! What should I do? Oh, are you alone? Yes! Oh my god! Did you leave your child with your husband when your kid is still little? 
No, my family is taking care of her temporarily. Well, you're so carefree, aren't you? And to go out in such cheap clothes? You poor thing. Insulting Poonie Parker is unforgivable. Look at this bag. It's the new piece of Pony Vitam. Huh, it's indeed a nice piece. I know, right? We're not like you and your poor family. Maybe it's because I'm the only one here she's talking to. But she can't stop talking. After all, my husband is a tough Yakuza. He's very different from your worthless husband. What? I could put aside the insults toward me. But I couldn't resist the last word. Hey! My husband is neither worthless nor a weak man! Huh? Who are you talking back to? My husband is a Yakuza! You shouldn't get yourself into unnecessary trouble with a small child! Uh, I'm sorry. Watch what you say, where you stand. I'm frustrated. But for Haru's sake, I have to avoid unnecessary trouble. I'm sorry. Good that you understand. My day off as a housewife ended on a sour note. But I can't go home with a depressed face. I've got to pull myself together and go home. When I arrived home, I found Aruto had come home too. Alright, Alto McQueen, I won't give up. Sorry, brother-in-law. I can't lose for Haru's sake. Let's go! Let's... Pony car is faster than horses! Damn, I lost! I knew it! Haru's pony car is awesome! You're still playing with that mystery game? Ah! Mommy's back! Hi! Have you been a good girl? Yeah! I had so much fun with Uncle Harry! A depressed mood clears up a lot when I see the smiling faces of my family! Thanks to the arrival of my brother! Dinner is more lively than usual. The talk which my brother wanted to have with me was also a very pleasant one. Well, thanks for taking care of me for a while. His house is undergoing renovation, and he'd like to stay with us for a while. Haru and Alito were overjoyed. It's going to be lively for a while. What? What's with this luxury car? They're a poor family. Why? Oh my god. I want to drive one of these. Hey, Kanade. You have a nice car. No, that car is... No need to hide it. You must have gone a lot of trouble to get it. That's not the point. I've always wanted to drive that car. If I refuse, I'm sure she'll bring up her Yakuza husband. But I can't do this one favor. I'm sorry, I can't do that. As expected, Toko got angry. I kept on refusing, apologizing politely and desperately. Damn, you're both poor and stinky. Toko then spat out a few words and left. But later, there was trouble after all. I will sneak in and just borrow it on my own. I never thought my husband's auto theft skills would come in handy like this. Oh wow, the latest luxury car. Quiet and comfortable to ride in. A car this nice doesn't suit a poor person. Ah! Oops, it's been a long time since I drove. Well, as expected, it's not good to say that I got into a self-inflicted accident. Oh, I've got an idea. Casino, can I have a word with you? What is it? Look at this luxury car. You like to break things like this, don't you? Go ahead and smash it up. Great, this is going to be fun. I was in a panic because the car was gone before I knew it. When suddenly 
I got a phone call from Toko-san. Uh, Hanade-san, I need to talk to you. I'm sorry, but I borrowed that luxury car. And you know what? It became a toy for my naughty son. What? I'm sorry, but it's all completely scrapped now. But boys grow up doing naughty things like this. So please, just tolerate it as a misfortune this time. What do you mean? Oh my god, are you mad at me? It's a child's fault. Don't get upset. Don't talk to me like that. Do you know what you've done? Huh? This has become a big problem. Do you know whose car that is? You or your husband's car? No, that's my brother's car. That's funny. It's your brother's car? So what? Don't tell me you're going to complain about it. Yes, I'm sure my brother wouldn't allow it. You have a lot of guts if you have the confidence to complain to the Yakuza. With that, Toko hung up the phone. I told my brother about this. Using her Yakuza husband as a shield. But I can't keep quiet either. I'll leave Haru with Alto when he gets back and go right away. In the evening, I went to Toko's house with my brother. He said I didn't have to come along, but I'm a party to this too. When we arrived, Toko showed us the wrecked car. Oh my god! How dare you! Huh! What a daredevil you are to come all the way here to complain! <laughs> You've got some nerve showing up at a Yakuza's house, don't you? I won't allow a poor family to interfere with my game. You should know how scary my husband and Masana are. What? Oh, you're Kairi-san? What are you doing here? Huh? I came here to make a complaint because I'm the owner of this car, right? Oh no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Hey, Bakura! What's the matter, Dad? Hey, you guys lower your heads too! What have you done? Damn it! What the hell is going on? Listen to me, this man, I mean this gentleman is... The young leader of the Sopranos, the most powerful Yakuza in Japan. A legendary Yakuza, famous in our world. What? But Bakura is a Yakuza too, right? Can't you win somehow? I'm just a lowly thug. I'm no better than him. I give up. I'll make him pay for what he's done. Please spare my life. Toko-san was easily abandoned. Don't be silly. You've been trying to trick me from the beginning, haven't you? You are a poor guy, but you're so cocky. What? Don't talk nonsense. Besides, my brother-in-law runs a company and makes over 10 million yen a year. Huh? That's not true. She and her husband don't look like they're having a wealthy life. Actually, it's our family policy to keep our everyday life simple. More than half of our income is put in a time deposit for our daughter's future. Why do you do that? My husband says, you know, as a business owner, you're always looking at your employees. As a business owner, you always have to be in the shoes of your employees. That's why I usually like to lead the same routine as my employees. Oh my god! I'm so pissed off! How much more do you have to mock me? If you are rich, don't make a big deal out of one car. Hey, you'd better stop this now. I'm going to make you pay for messing up my car. Yikes. If you pay me 20 million yen for the car, I'll let you off the hook for this one. If you don't want to suffer any worse, you better pay up. I can't pay. I don't have that kind of money. Oh, you can't even sell off the brand name items you're wearing? I secretly borrowed money to buy this under my husband's name. Ugh, is that what you've been doing? I'm sorry, I can't cover for you. I see. Then let's have you work and earn money. I'll put you in touch with a store owned by my gang. If you can flatter with customers well, you can pay me back in three or four years. Take her away. No! 
apologize and beg your forgiveness. They took Togo-san away. Suck it up, Pony. Listen, boy, the path to success is the law of the jungle. If you do wrong, you'll end up like your parents. If you're not ready for that, then you should get off your ass and get on with your life. Hazino came to have a reform after my brother's sermon. Bakara-san is raising his son on his own instead of Toko-san who's busy with her work. And Toko-san is... You're so cute today, Toko. All dressed up for me. You want to talk to me so much, don't you? I can't take it! Help me! Looks like she's working hard every day. You can't be happy if you look down on other people and other families. True happiness is created by yourself and your family members who support you. Meanwhile, we decided to hold our annual event before my brother goes home. For this event, we'll forget our normal lives and travel to our resort in the south. Looks like a lot of fun, Puni. My brother joins us on a family trip this year. It's livelier than usual, more fun, and clears my mind of all the bother from the instant. A happy life with my family is yet to come.